so you might be in a situation where your MetaQuest 3S is not loading anything on its display, meaning that if you're going to go through and basically use your MetaQuest 3S, there is nothing loading on the display and you're trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. Now, number one, the number one thing I'd recommend doing here for the most part is to make sure that your particular headset was charged up. So check the power, check the battery of your headset. You might want to plug it in and see if that ends up changing anything. For a lot of people, you'd actually be surprised at how often literally just going through and powering on your headset can end up fixing the problem. Personally for me, whenever I run into these types of problems, I typically will go through and I usually would just, you know, try my best of powering it on and making sure it's plugged in. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Now you also may want to make sure your 3S is, you know, powered on. Sometimes it might not automatically power on if you put it on your head. So if you click on the left side, there's a power button. If you click on that power button, it should automatically go through and power on your device. You might just want to go ahead and see if that ends up kind of fixing the problem for you as well. There's a very high likelihood if you do that, that might end up fixing the problem for you as well. You might also want to make sure that your Wi-Fi is fully working. Sometimes if your Wi-Fi connection is being faulty or if it's not working out that well, that can also be an issue. So you might want to make sure that that's not a problem. And you might just want to make sure that your Wi-Fi is you know, fully working, that it's fully intact, that there's no issues with your Wi-Fi connection. You might also want to make sure your you know, headset is up to date. If your headset is like severely outdated, you might want to make sure that that's not the problem there either. So what you can do is just go ahead and try updating your headset. And you might want to see if that ends up fixing the problem for you too, because that might end up fixing the problem, you know, for your, in your particular situation as well. So those are kind of the main ways of going about fixing this problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Sultan.